is Simon from the Brackets here at South OC Cars and Coffee for another week. Uh, check out the weather behind us. Absolutely perfect, perfect assembly of cars and motorcycles here today. Great turnout again. Some really great exotics, some hot rods, uh, classics, muscle cars. You can hear behind me there's a, a Chevy coming in that sounds absolutely cool. Let's swing the camera around and have a look. So we have my Camaro and then James's uh, 1LE. Tony's brand new uh, 570 Spider, beautiful looking car. And then uh, Pete's brand new GT3. And then a couple of great looking classic Ferraris. Jay's gorgeous Ford GT. Another Ferrari Spider here, 430 Spider. It's beautiful uh, Mercedes, yeah, satin green. Um, Lansom Superformance brought in this uh, beautiful looking GT40. This particular car, obviously a replica, uh, Lance was saying has, is going to be used in a uh, movie that Shelby are about to do. So, really excellent car, <laughs> zero miles on it basically. So, very, very cool. Left, uh, left hand drive. Uh, onto a uh, new 720S McLaren in that beautiful uh, sort of satin yellow. Another McLaren, uh, another one. Familiar? And then uh, Tony's old Ferrari now being uh, moved on to uh, greener pastures. <laughs> Uh, Lamborghini, another McLaren, another Lamborghini, 458 Italia, and then a, a R8 Spider, uh, not Spider, R8, sorry, Coupe in uh, a really cool uh, sort of ready orange V10 model. Another 430 Spider, another Ferrari, lots of Ferraris here through today, beautiful. Uh, this really lovely little Alfa Romeo, very classic, um, onto a, a Grand Prix, old classic Porsche. Volkswagen uh, dual cab transporter, which is kind of cool. Another uh, really nice little Porsche, and another one, another 911, really nice looking uh, Corvette. And then a little Carmen gear here, which is kind of cool. Moving around the other side, one of our previous cars of the week, this lovely Roadrunner Superbird. Just such a great looking car, classic. Um, really nice looking Dodge, 440 in it. This Baja truck, very cool. A few of these Baja things here, a couple of Baja bugs through here. Another uh, Volkswagen bus, love those tilt out windows in it. Really cool looking Beetle, cheap for sale. This is cool, international uh, harvester truck, like a Scout, really cool. If it is a Scout, this has got 1,000 on it, but um, very cool looking thing. Um, Thunderbird, Viper, really nice looking 56 uh, Chevy, Speedster, Porsche, Corvette, great looking Chevelle. And then uh, Carmen Gear, great looking old Ford there. This is really cool. It says, oh, this is my first car over 50 years ago. I'm not you bought it in 65, it was 15. That's a cool story. Uh, Ford truck, just moving through. Got a nice little E-type Jag, nice Mercedes. Uh, a uh, Cadillac CTSV. Love the fact that they made these things in a station wagon. You know, the station wagon is dying out here in the US. But it was cool to be able to get this uh, supercharged LSA engine in that uh, uh, in the car. This uh, uh, little catfish, which I said a couple of weeks ago, was not based on a Miata. It is, in fact. Uh, then we got the guys in Mustang Alley coming through here. The big lineup, all our regulars here, coming all the way through. There, another one, Packard, one of our regulars. Wasn't it a beautiful looking car? Um, Aston Martin GT350. Porsche Roberts uh, Celine and that beautiful multicolour paint uh, Challenger RT Bob's spectacular 55 this thing's very very cool uh, this is running that uh, 632 Dart um, over a thousand horsepower all motor very very cool car one of my favorite cars that ever been here um, another really cool car now you look at this and you go what the heck is this thing this is a promotional car all original barn farm Tom Shaughnessy brought this along uh, it was built for the uh, Purolator, uh, who used to uh, obviously make oil filters. It was their promotional car. So they were sponsoring one of the teams um, at NASCAR, early 70s. This was the car that they would have out in the pits as their promotional vehicle. Uh, what a great find this thing is. All original. Um, Tom was saying he's actually interested in selling it. So if anybody wants a real cool barn find, um, this thing is it. Just check that out. I always appreciate the cars that Tom brings along. They're always really interesting and have such a great story behind him. He's the, the king of uh, original cars and barn finds. Uh, beautiful little original TR6 uh, next to this great looking little uh, Ford Thunderbird here. The original Thunderbirds. 
I'm guessing that's sort of 55, 56 ish. Um, this thing's cool. This is a little Saab. Um, check out that little four, V4 engine in this thing. That's crazy the fact that <laughs> these guys were doing these little V4s when everybody else was, you know, doing either inline fours or whatever. But really cool little, cool little uh, concept. Um, Saab, of course, back in their day were known for, for aeronautical stuff. So really interesting engineering. And they didn't do things the same way as everybody else did them because their background wasn't, you know, automotive. But great little interesting car. Um, always good to see things like this. Very, very cool. Uh, next to it, this thing pulls in and I thought there's no way in the world that this um, Corvette would have come in this orange and the owner said it is actually the original colour. So look at that tan roof, those steel wheels and the scallop in the side in that sort of matches the roof. This is a really, really special car. It is the fuel injected model. So that's kind of cool in itself that it's got actually got, you know, some of the very first mechanical fuel injection that was ever available uh, in cars or in Chevys at least was in this one. So, you know, I, I personally didn't know that they were doing uh, Corvettes of this era in orange. So. I've seen 57s in orange, but or 50, yeah, 57s, I think, or maybe 56s, but never Corvette, so that's kind of cool. Um, as we go along, another Mustang, uh, another Mustang here. Mercedes, this is one of the new gold wings, as you can see, you know, like, look look at this. The real uh, uh, throwback to the original old gold wing Mustang, which is great. A GT500, Porsche, this beautiful Chevy truck we've featured and talked about several times, very cool. Ferrari. A uh, Buick Riviera, another Mustang, another Mustang, a couple of Evos in a row, the old uh, Chevy Corvair, a car that changed US motoring in terms of safety rules, Celine, Cobra replica, great looking old Dodge truck, uh, XJS, I think it is Jaguar, um, Corvette, another Mustang here, just around the front. And then a uh, very cool looking Nova. Great looking hot rod here. I think we featured this is car that we before. Look at that beautiful looking flathead running that Edelbrock head. Um, really nice interior. Love these metal, like steel wheels on it. That grey, that really nice sort of matching interior and the stripes and everything. It's really cool. Uh, 69 Camaro. Great looking El Camino running a 283 small block. This Alfa Romeo that we've talked about before and made a car of the week was actually a barn find or a hangar find, truth be told. Mustang, another little Volkswagen, uh, another one of these Volkswagen station wagons up here. Don't see many of those around these days, but very cool. Uh, and then um, Corvette, and then this really nice looking Dodge. How original is this thing? It's great, isn't it? Running a uh, 440 Magnum in it. Really cool. Very, uh, we're very privileged to be able to see all of these cars. Here's another car that's been car of the week. This classic, classic looking Ferrari. Just really nice to see. Another uh, Ferrari. A couple more Porsches here. And then uh, BMW. Then we've got a lineup of uh, these um, three wheel slingshots. Very cool to see. Look at them all lined up through here. Those guys, those guys will have some fun on the, uh, the canyon roads, that's for sure. Very cool. Look at them all. Great to see. And then onto this, uh, oh this is all chopped and channeled this thing, uh, car audio from the guys from Rouse, do incredible stuff, little uh, Fairlady Z, aka 240Z, uh, Cobra replica, Grand National, a couple more Cobras, a little Porsche, it's nice, M6, Gen 6 Camaro, RS, a uh, C6 Corvette, a um, uh, little Speedster, Corvette, Rolls Royce, also happens to be right hand drive, a uh, couple, couple more Corvettes, three Corvettes in a row, then our regulars, Mustangs, then the, uh, coming down through here, Boss Bird, which is kind of cool, Chevelle, you see, I've never seen it before. This, this thing's tough as anything, another old Chevelle, El Camino, Falcon, that inline six, and a uh, Chevy truck, and then uh, Firebird also running that, uh, that inline six. So jumping across the other side, this is really pretty. Check this out, this is a little uh, 35, sorry, rent, rent, run another way, 356. Beautiful grey, looks great, nice interior. 
a, sort of a bit of a retro finish on it. It's got uh, more modern trim seats, but I love those straps on the front. Really nicely done. Uh, next to a Ford, another uh, Volkswagen bus. Very cool um, Chevy truck we've looked at before. Uh, another Chevy truck. This is great. Look at the engine in this thing. This is the one that's the uh, TIG Welder's Dream. Very cool. And then, now this is a cool Hudson. Um, if we swing the camera around here, this is actually a contender for, uh, for Car of the Week. Has been a couple of times. If you, uh, if you look at it, it is this cool Hudson pickup. Very, very, very cool. Doesn't that look great? All original, very, very nice. Uh, Cutlass Supreme. And then as we go through here, a uh, Ford truck, a uh, Corvette, NSX, and then uh, Corvette, hot rod. It's an interesting concept actually. The, if you look at this hot rod, it's actually got um, four seats in it, which is really uncommon. Look at that. All his overland. That's kind of cool. So, moving right along, Mustang. Really nice looking old Morgan. And then a uh, Corvette. And another Corvette. Another Corvette. This is an old Survival. Look at this thing. Had a hard life. But good to see it out. Uh, another Mustang. 34 hot rod here for sale. Five glass body. Uh, another Mustang. But it's funny when I took it out there. Stinger and a uh, green wrap, 442, and then a uh, Hellcat in uh, red. Moving along, another Hellcat, this time a Charger, last one was a Challenger, oh, no. and then uh, another Corvette, and a little uh, Datsun 240Z, another one next to it. Here's a great little Datsun 1600, I would call this a U, you would call it a pickup. Uh, great looking. Uh, Van here, little uh, look at this little Porsche 914, another slingshot, good looking old uh, Ford Hot Rod S2000. This is really interesting. Um, I, what does it say it is? It doesn't say what it is. It's, um, I don't know whether it's custom or how it, what it is, but it's uh, kind of interesting. It's a uh, um, V8 and then obviously station pedal station wagon which is quite cool. So interesting. Uh, moving on, we've got a Ranchero and then really nice looking uh, Ford going past us right now. Really nice looking um, 69 and Hugger Orange uh, ZL1 Gen 6. Uh, this was our car of the week last week. This was this uh, 64 Falcon running that uh, injected 427. Of course, the owner of this vehicle passed away, so his two nephews and his niece are now taking it out on the road and, and doing what he always wanted to do with it, which is really cool. Uh, Dan's really nice looking uh, Ford delivery van, 32, uh, Roadster there, uh, Nissan, another Nissan 280Z, 280Z, another Nissan there, little Toyota. I don't know what they're doing in there, but uh, Continental, another Continental. Um, Mustang, this great looking 69 with a Z28 in it. So there we go, this is cool to see. So here's a Gen 2 Camaro with a Z28, uh, the Z28 model, and then we have next to it the 69. So really good to see those two cars side by side. It's kind of cool. Isn't that great? I must admit I'm partial to the 69, but if I'm gonna have a Gen 2 split bumper is the way to go, so that looks kind of cool. There's that Ford Hot Rod there. And moving along, great looking little uh, Mercedes convertible. Uh, line up a Jeep suit here. We appreciate the, uh, the all the Jeep guys joining us, it's always cool. And a little uh, Nissan pickup here in the weeds. Uh, Honda Focus ST. A uh, Hyundai Challenger, Charger, sorry. Uh, Corvette, Jeffrey's Jeep. Very lifted F-150, and then uh, Ross, a couple of Mustangs through here, and then Volkswagen, cool looking Chevy Blazer lifted, 350, very cool looking uh, Raptor, we looked at this last week, check this thing out, isn't that great, isn't that good, look at that, isn't that great looking thing, very cool, love those wheels, 
Uh, Chevelle, Mustang, Audi, good morning. A little uh, Austin Healey, little bug eyed Sprite, Mustang, Porsche, slant nose Porsche, another Corvette, another Corvette, uh, AMG, and then uh, we come down here further, we've got a uh, Volkswagen thing. I saw an interesting show the other day about uh, the advertising campaign when they released these because of course they were they were actually used the original iterations were used in Nazi Germany and when they released them over here they were worried that people wouldn't use them so they get used to this sort of uh, guerrilla marketing campaign where they called them quirky and and you know use terms like that to describe them, which they are but you know they've got a following that's for sure uh, moving along good show thank you uh, GMC truck GTO very tough sounding. Uh, this is the Chevy that was pulling in when I was started filming. Bruce is a really nice uh, old late 30 Chevy truck. Another Corvette. Another Chevy. Another Chevy Impala, two door. Um, another one. I think it's a C10. A uh, little interesting uh, Corvo, which I've not seen before. Bronco, uh, Jaguar, and then uh, Viper. Mini Porsche. Another Porsche. Great looking little Lotus. A couple of Lotuses here. Another Corvette. Lexus uh, BMW CI8. Uh, Z06. It's kind of interesting. Look at this beautiful old Mercedes here. Wow, that's great. You know, it, it's the seeing cars like this that really makes it all worthwhile. Look at this beautiful car. Wow, that's special. Yeah. Look at that. Such an incredible, incredible looking engine too. Wow, so original and so neat. That is absolutely a showstopper. Wow, that's incredible. It's so, so beautiful in here. Let's spin the camera around into the side. Look at that. Push button radio. Wow, that's beautiful. All the woodwork in it, it's just a very special car. Certainly contender for car of the week as well. It's an old Mercedes 220. That is really, really cool. Really cool, such a pleasure to see that. Wow. Okay, rolling along. Jeep. And a uh, forerunner, I think it is, another Jeep. Another Thunderbird. Such a great turnout this morning. It's just starting to leave now, but it's been uh, been full this morning. Ah, oh, this beautiful little Fiat Microbus we've looked at before. It's been our car in the week before. So worthy of it. So gorgeous. So cool. Ah, uh, Porsche. Uh, uh, I think it's an old uh, Grand Prix. Uh, no, Grand Ville by Pontiac. Interesting. Continental. Little uh, Volkswagen. Ah, oh, look at this thing. Sparkly roof. Very cool. Country sedan. For sale. Uh, great looking 34 we've looked at before. Uh, um, 32, sorry, not 34, it's got the vertical grill. Uh, small block Chevy, really nicely done. Bug catcher. Uh, Mustang, uh, McLaren, and then uh, Corvette, and then another uh, Mercedes over here swinging around. A couple more rows to go. Corvette, Maserati, little twin cam Toyota. It's amazing how things go up in price like that little Nissan, Honda, Porsche, little Datsun, and then another Porsche. Roll from here, boxes. Old Mercedes, new Mercedes. Three of them in a row actually. And then uh, after Mercedes, we have a Corvette GT350. <laughs> Check out this uh, Porsche here. Uh, either their suspensions let go, I doubt, they've actually put air ride on it. So look at how that thing's sitting in the weeds. A uh, Chevy SS. Uh, roll Mustangs again. One, two, three, four. Little Nissan. And uh, Mercedes. Corvette. This, it's, uh, this is. Um, the new generation of uh, Whipple supercharger they've just released. Um, very cool. This is Jeff's car. It's, uh, he's just uh, got this back on the road. Really good to see. 
rebodied, should I say that, Hellcat or a new car with this old engine in it. Uh, it's a great looking car through here, Mustang, WRX, old Lexus, another Lexus. Sorry, I didn't and a I didn't, Toyota 86, Toyota 86, three of those in a row, and then Challenger, really nice looking old Porsche, C7 Corvette, a uh, Audi, Porsche, Jeep, um, Z28, Gen 5, I have a real soft spot for this car, this was the uh, actually the last car that the GM fitted the uh, LS7 427 into just a great car, so well set up. Carbon ceramic brakes, really good aero on them. Um, amazing, like track tyres. Um, they even took, uh, made the the uh, back window glass thinner, so you could actually uh, to get the weight down. But very capable car. Um, now this is kind of cool. It's a, a cool looking tow truck over here with this ability to drop this trailer down. A couple of very cool motorcycles on there. Um, Ducatis. Got the, uh, the the clutch mechanism on this. Very cool the way they've done that. Let's swing the camera around this way and have a look. Nicely done. It's really cool they've made this mechanical arm that obviously lifts this up, and puts it in the back of the truck. They're very, very, very cool looking motorcycles, and the truck looks kind of cool too. Actually, for sale if anybody got motorcycles, it'd be a good way to uh, carry them around. Look at it. Okay, moving along. Little uh, Toyota 86, Mitsubishi, Mustang, BMW, Royal BMWs, look at them all up here. So we're coming through with a tough camera, Mustang. BMW here, M6, old Lexus, uh, Toyota 86 again, a uh, uh, Volkswagen, <laughs> Ford. And Focus, my, uh, Volkswagen, my only... Volkswagen, Porsche, Dodge, another Mustang, M uh, Ma Mazda Speed 3, Corvette, Audi, covered in glitter. Look at the put on that thing. Another Mustang, another Mustang on lower on it. Really nice looking uh, Focus RS, love that blue. Focus ST, another ST, another ST. Really interesting. This little R bar set us this faster speed on the side. Really, oh, so oh, oh, tiny. Little. I don't know anything about it. It's really interesting, isn't it? Yeah. R bar badges on it, but it's absolutely tiny. It's very small. Little Honda. Infinity. BMW. Porsche. Acura, Honda, little Nissan, and then over the other side we have uh, another uh, Chevy SS, 914, uh, Carrera, another Porsche, another Porsche, old Mercedes, and then Corvette, and then a uh, Volkswagen, Nissan, Corvette, uh, Camaro, sorry, Mustang. Porsche and then a uh, Challenger and then a couple of Mustangs uh, GT here and then a GT350 M3 little BMW here no idea what that is um, work in progress on it Subaru Mustang Lexus another Mustang Camaro another Mustang here Challenger and then a uh, Scion Honda RX8 Challenger a Nissan a Honda Civic I think Challenger Mustang nice little uh, Porsche grey BMW little uh, Honda or Acura little 124 Arbath 
I have a Charger, Hyundai, <laughs> old Volvo wagon, another old Volvo wagon, Corvette, Focus, Evo, Gen 5 Camaro, and then another Evo. Then over this side we've got this uh, little Pontiac Solstice there in this Oldsmobile running this uh, old supercharger in it. Looking very cool. Little Volkswagen Beetle. Really nice looking Buick. I guess it's a 54 I think. Or, no, 55 I think. Uh, Volkswagen. A little Beetle. And then Spectator cars. A really nice C63S. And then a uh, really nice looking Ford GT and then this Ford Bronco which is really nicely done. Okay on to the motorcycles. BMW, another BMW, Harley Davidson, kind of cool looking old chopper here, check that out. That's kind of interesting isn't it? The Harley Davidson. Great looking Triumph all cut down, that's, that's kind of cool you know, it's just got a standard style old motorcycle saddle. Really nicely done. Yamaha, Harley, great looking old Honda there, Kawasaki, Harley, another cool looking Harley, and then uh, another one there, and finally another one up there. So that's it for another week of South OC Cars and Coffee, what a great turnout, perfect weather, perfect variety of cars and motorcycles, thanks everybody who brought those out and also all the spectators who joined us. Big thank you for Ruby's for bringing out the coffee and the donuts, and of course the outlets for letting us be here. Make sure to support the, uh, the shops at the outlets as well. Don't forget to check out our website, www.southocarsandcoffee.com, and also find us on Facebook and Instagram as well. Have a great week. We'll see you back here for another South OC Cars and Coffee.